angry guy here and black women are begging white men to date them because black men won't date or marry them anymore. To request a topic for a video, see the description below. So guys, this is quite interesting stuff. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this video. Everybody says that black women are just bitter and black women are just mad mm -hmm. because they're dating white women and when mm -hmm. white women are easier to deal with and black women are difficult. Mm -hmm. And in reality, black women don't even care. Like it's we like- don't give up. <laughs> like, we literally do not care. We like, want someone that wants us back. Period. If it's not going to be black men, that's why all the black women are starting to date white men. Period. And they say, let me know if, if it's true, because I haven't. I feel like a lot of black women say, like, I, I am treated at such a higher standard. Higher standard, yeah. Than when I've dated black men. And that yeah. they're like, I'm not going back. Mm -hmm. All the black women? It is still like a major minority of black women dating out. It's a major minority of black guys dating out. What is this thing with the women who dislike black men just saying these things? Stop opening your mouth for the things that aren't true. Now, you know what's interesting about this? What's really interesting about these numbers is that when it comes to inter-ethnic dating, black women, at least in the United States, have the lowest rate of dating outside of their ethnicity. Yeah, it's actually very, very shocking. Now, when I say black women, I don't mean all black women. For example, women who are of Caribbean descent, African descent, uh, Hispanic descent, they have significantly higher rates of dating and marrying men who are of other ethnicities, but specifically African-American women have the lowest rates of dating outside of their ethnicity. They believe that they are the most desired women in the world, and yet they have the lowest rates of dating outside of their ethnicity. And of course, they would try to explain that away by saying that, oh, that's because we're so loyal to black men. No. In reality, it's because, and if you look at the statistics, a lot of other groups, most other groups are not chasing, are not courting. They are not interested in dating these specific, this specific group of women. It's not that they don't like black women. They're dating women from other countries. They're marrying women of, of African descent from other countries, but they are not dating predominantly or marrying african-american women why is this happening because there's just not that interest and of course these women and it was said before they will stay on their hill until the end of time the men that they didn't want now are walking away they are moving away they're going overseas they're either saying well you know what either if i stay in a western society if i stay in america I'm not going to marry or have children. I'm just going to chill, take care of myself, focus on myself. Or if I want to date, I'm going to fly out of the country and go on a date out of the country. If I want to marry, I'm going to fly out of the country and marry out of the country. And more guys are wising up and saying, and I'm not going to bring her back. A lot of these men are leaving and then they are not coming back. I literally saw a video. I don't know. I remember which one this, which, which guy it was. I think it was like a YouTuber, black YouTuber. He was in Japan and he was in bed and he was literally quarreling that he doesn't want to go back to America. Literally throwing a fit that he doesn't want to go back to America. Like, I don't want to go back, man. I don't want to go back. It's like going back to prison. This just really tells you about the state of Western society. And now you have these women who are literally trying to say that, okay, yeah, we're going to go get ourselves a white king. Come on. Come on, y'all. Something isn't right here. Let's call it the Scooby gang. We need to unmask this villain. Something isn't right here. These women... They broke their communities apart. They left their communities in shambles. The men are walking away entirely. All the good men are leaving. The men who are hardworking, the men who are educated, the men who don't love the streets, all these dudes are leaving. 
all they have left are, are Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, Juan, Enrique is in there too. Man Miguel is in there too. They run around in the black community. Don't think that they don't. They run around in there. All right. They 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 help. They they they're doing their thing in the black community just like they did their thing in the Hispanic community. These men are running around in there, running wild in there. Every so often, Chad will come by because you know he wants to try a little chocolate and then he'll leave immediately because he doesn't plan on sticking around. And these women somehow believe that they are high value. By the way, guys, why aren't you, why haven't you turned on notifications yet? You know, what's going on with that? Guys, it's time that you wake up and realize that Western society, Western society is pretty much at its, its end date. Something else has to come next after this. And you have these black women who believe that they are the end all be all. And that everyone who everyone wants them, they're the most desirable. You know, I mean, come on. Come on. And now they're saying once you go white, you don't go back. Guys, do you remember? Guys, before it was the other way around. And now these men are walking away. They can no longer get men in their community. All right. They can't get these men anymore. Guys, I've said it myself. I've been saying this for months. All right. And usually my timetables are a little bit off because things accelerate faster than I say it. Sometimes, sometimes I'm a little bit, sometimes it takes a, a little bit longer, but a lot of the times I'll say something and I'm a, it's already happening. It's already happening. Sometimes it's already happened years ago, but people didn't even realize it was this bad. Okay. These women chased off the men in their communities. They can't get access to these dudes anymore. They can't get access to these black nerds anymore. They can't get access to these men anymore. You know, the drama club geek, who is now a multimillionaire and one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, they can't access, they can't get access to that guy anymore. You know? The the you know the the kid who was the the kid the, the kid who was uh, who was the president of the computer science club or whatever in high school, right? And he was corny and cheesy, and now he's a billionaire. They can't get access to this man anymore. All those little boys that they made fun of, they can't get access to them anymore. These men are walking away. And these and the opportunistic Asian women are rushing in, sweeping in. And it's not just the Asian women. It's not just the Asian women. The white women overseas, and I told y'all this was going to happen. The white women overseas are putting out videos right now talking about how much they love black men and black, and putting the videos. Oh, we love them. We want them. I warned y'all this was going to happen. And, of course, it's oh, – guys – with the black guys, it's costing the U.S. economy billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars. When the white guys start to do this in droves, that's end game. That's end game right there. Because now it's going to cost the economy hundreds of billions of dollars a year. All right. When we have something like 30 million men walking away, that works out to like somewhere between 400 and 500 billion billion dollars gone and the men that are walking away are the demographic of men that are paying all of the taxes so all that tax money is going to do, 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 walk right out of the country and all these other countries want a piece of that now too that's why they're trying to pass laws so they can tax these men who go to their countries. And what's going to end up happening is, oh, you're going to tax me? Okay, I won't go to Thailand anymore. Oh, you want to tax me in the Philippines? Oh, then I'll move, I'll leave for the Philippines. And it's only going to hurt. There, there will be some guys who stick around, but it's going to it's going to hurt the local economy because men are just going to go to other countries. There's many different countries in the world. And any countries that try to do this, Guys will just leave. If every country starts doing it, men will only visit these countries for a short period of time. So if they say that, oh, you can't be in Thailand for more than 180 days or we're going to start taxing you, oh, then dudes will fly into Thailand, 
They will chill in Thailand with their girlfriends for like 90 days, maybe not even that. They'll have fun and then they'll take off and go to another country. And they will, this is how a lot of men will live. They will just keep going from one from one country to another country, come back to the US for a little bit, maybe, chill, because they're not getting married, they have comfortable lives. And by this point, they've saved so much money that what, what these dudes will do, they'll just get a piece of land, buy a cheap piece of land somewhere, put a camper on it or a tiny house. All right. A lot of dudes will go with the tiny house thing too, but or they all get a camper, wire that up, electricity, everything they need in there. And when they're not when they're not traveling, they're chilling in their crib. No no real expenses, very low property taxes. Really, they're only paying property on that. They're really only paying property on the on the land or very small property on the house if they have the state goes after whatever. But they're paying very little, much less than they would be paying somewhere else, all right? At most a few thousand dollars a year. And this is how they're going to live. The old, I mean, you could literally, even it, at this point, that's why I call it men walking away. Even if you stop men from going overseas, it's not going to stop men from walking away. Men are just going to chill out at home. And if you stop men from walking away, well, not walking away, if you stop men from leaving, leaving Western society, they're still walking away. What they'll do is they'll just immerse themselves in virtual reality and video games. And as AI is becoming more and more, more and more advanced, these guys are just going to be dating robots and, and, and AI and having AI girlfriends. They're going to jump into virtual reality worlds and have complete and have really great conversations with these virtual girls. And here's another thing that people don't realize. In these virtual realities, dudes are going to be dating things that don't look human. They're going to date alien chicks. They're going to date anime chicks. They're going to date women with proportions that are not humanly possible. It's going to completely misconstrue what, you know, what, what, what normal normal male attraction, the boundaries of normal male attraction, because they're going to begin expanding those parameters and Western women will not be able to compete with this. Men men will just basically isolate themselves from women, from women and society. And it's already happening. You know, you already have the news outlets beginning to get fearful, like, oh my gosh, yeah, the guys aren't working anymore. The guys are beginning to date AI. What do we do? Because they're disengaging from society. When men rapidly disengage from society, that is the end of society right then and there. And men don't need a lot to survive. And then women, women, the media, they don't know how to do any. They can't stop guys, because unless you're gonna unless you're gonna turn these men into your, you're gonna force them. Oh, we're gonna force you to work. Force us to do what? To do what labor? Forces to learn, forces to pick up this book, forces to read. It doesn't work, guys. It doesn't work. Okay? Men will only work as hard as they have to to survive. They will only work as hard as they have to to eat. You know, people have to have more of a drive to succeed and to advance. No one's going to waste their time in a university if they're not going to get anything out of it. No one's going to go and learn a trade if they're not going to get anything out of it. No one's going to strive to survive, you know, if they're not going to get anything out of it. They're only going to do as much as they have to to survive. You give a guy, you give a guy a Nintendo Switch, all right, give him a gaming PC, what a gaming laptop, a place to sleep, a place to poop, food to eat. And he's good. There's a lot of dudes right now. A lot of dudes right now. They have a gaming laptop, a sleeping bag, and a backpack. And they are so good. They are sleeping on the floor. They watch media on their laptop. They play games on their laptop. They do everything they need to do on their laptop. They work on their laptop. This is crazy. This is crazy. 
and they are very, very content, and it makes perfect sense. How is this possible? Think about it very carefully. You have Steam. Most of you know what Steam is, right? Steam is incredible. You can go on Steam, buy all these games, tons of games, very, very cheap compared to other platforms. So you can get games on Steam. Sometimes you can spend like five bucks and get like blockbusters, like, you know, like, like the Gotham Arkham Knights, you know, like the entire series, like all three games. Like it's insanity. It's insanity. All right. So you have a gaming laptop. You can get a decent gaming laptop for even a thousand dollars or less, or less. Because a lot of dudes will just buy you something used that's incredible. Pick up a decent gaming laptop, an Xbox controller, all right, and that's it. And basically, you play all your games on your gaming laptop using Steam. It's a gaming laptop, so it's high performance typically, which means that if you can play games on it, you can you, you're gonna be able to pump out YouTube videos a lot faster. You're gonna be able to do a lot of things rapidly on that. So you're going to so that's a powerhouse right there. So you're gonna be able to do all your work on your gaming PC, on your gaming laptop. All right. And that's a one-time per that's a one-time expense. Most guys aren't going to replace that for at least a couple of years. That's a one-time expense. So the value that you get out of that device is ridiculous. Like, that's how I look at my devices. When I buy a new device, when I buy a laptop, right, and I have to sink a couple thousand dollars into it, what I do is I ask myself, how much value am I going to get out of this thing? You know, for example, I had a laptop, and it went bad, and I was like, how much money did I make using this thing? And I thought about it. I'm like, I made $70,000 using this, this laptop. I got my money out of it. All right? And a lot of dudes, that's how it's going to be. So a dude has a gaming laptop that he can work on, play his games on. That's the only device he's going to have in some cases. And an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, whatever, or both. And a backpack. Everything he needs in that backpack, he's going to treat it like a treat it like, you know, like a dresser drawer has all his clothing, his toiletries in there. And he doesn't need anything else. He's good. And when I say good, I mean good, 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 good. You right? He has somewhere to sleep. Sleeps on the ground in his sleeping bag. Everything he needs is, is in that backpack, and he's ready to go at a moment's notice. Ready to go at a moment at a moment's notice. This is the life of a man. Women don't understand just how little a man needs to survive. Guys, what do you think regarding everything we've discussed here today? Black women are begging white men to date them because black men won't date them or marry them anymore. I want to know your thoughts let's talk about it in the comments like the video if you like it don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video share the video and just remember that all roads lead to mwa men walking away and cheers